Hi, welcome to Aussie Nomads Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. So that's it for Benella. We are on our way to Wangaratta. Got a funny feeling Brown Brothers is going to be just down the road from our next campgrounds. So we are at the Oakley Recreational Reserve. It is $15 a night per vehicle and all those little incidental things there on the board. And evidently you're not allowed to collect Body grubs. Just saying. Either you can either EFT your payment or there is a box here. Envelopes there, money in the envelope, pen there to write on the front of, put it in the slot. You know the routine by now. Anyhow, it's a great looking little campgrounds. So now we have arrived at the Oxley Recreational Reserve. All set up, ready for lunch. Off we go to look at the camp kitchen. The camp kitchen is locked. This one's open. Winning. Oh, nice little green garden hose. Blue, blue garden hose. Oh. <laughs> I said nice little green garden hose, but it's blue. Oh, look at that. Two big sinks. It's even got cooking mats so that you don't dirty it. Cook on the mat. Spatula. Someone cooked on this side. Winning. Bucket to clean up your mess after you had a shower. There is the shower. Someone's just been in here and not cleaned up their mess. And left the light running. Flick that off, old fella. Kids' playground over there. Picnic tables. There's a whole big undercover area. With more picnic tables. It is a big area. It would hold hundreds of people. It's pretty good. That's us down there under those beautiful trees. Scrub bashing around the recreational reserve looking for the creek which is just there and it's got no water in it hardly. Thought we might be able to have a fish. King River. It's not a creek. So that's the King River. She's actually flowing. Interesting to see if there is any fish in there. Might get me some worms. There are, oh, there's two tennis courts there. One's in good repair and one's a bit, how do you do? Dead Ed reckons. If you've got kids, there's a practice ball so you don't have to hit the ball. Kids playground. Six pack of bins. And an absolute ton of room. Ah, there's a horse arena. So at this rate, we may never get around Australia. It's 12 o'clock and we are just heading to Milwa for the day. Pretty sure we're going to do maybe Brown Brothers. Not even half a day. We've got like four hours left. Pretty sure we're going to do Brown Brothers, the Mustard Factory and the Cheese Shop. Anyway, we're going to take you along as we go. Looks like an old flour mill. Not sure what it is. First stop. Brown Brothers. Because you know, if they're famous, you just got to come here. Olive trees. <laughs> hey? No, thank you. I did that in Italy. They taste disgusting. This is the wine tasting area. And seeing neither of us are much into wine, we just had a look around. A gentleman explained all the areas and the rooms in the building. 
and then he just let us look around and read the history. They had big glass windows, so you could see right through into the old cellars and the barrels. This was the wine tasting area. It was super busy. Constructed in 1905. There was a restaurant on site and the menu looked yummy. But we are saving our canis for cheese. As we headed back to the car, we noticed this herb garden. I'm not sure if we were supposed to be in the garden, but we looked anyway. Huge massive things. They are good pumpkins, aren't they? There's a lot of them. Big batch of greens. Next stop is going to be the cheese factory. That'll be dangerous. Now we are at Milwa Cheese Company. Oh, it's got a bakery and a restaurant. Be right up Eddie's Alley. Bakery restaurant. Bakery restaurant. But those ones down there are soft. Yeah. And then that one down there is bushy looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look how bushy that is. Got all these goodies. Got the fresh butter. Yum. Well, the cheese factory was a success. Did some cheese tasting, got a couple of chunks of cheese, and got a big fat French vanilla slice. And now we are heading off to have lunch. We are living flash today. Steak with French butter. Living the dream. <laughs> so that is lunch done and dusted and now we are heading to Beechworth. We are at Lake Sample at Beechworth. Guess where he wants to go? He wants to go to the bakery. Can't come to Beechworth without going to the bakery. So in true McCormack style, we are heading to the bakery. Can I just let you know that 85% of the people that watched this video last week weren't subscribed. Can you hit that subscribe button for me? Thanks. <laughs> Just cause. So many beautiful old buildings. Everything's closed because we got here too late on a Sunday afternoon. So we've got the whole place to ourselves. for today we are off to Paradise Falls. I'm gonna take you with us. So we are making a little detour to Powers Lookout Reserve. We're going for blueberries. Let's have a little look. Oh yummy there's blueberries. Holy heck 
13 dollars for a great big tub. Yes, we'll leave the big ones because they're yummy. Yum! Better be worth the drive when we get there, I've got to tell you. I reckon we've done a 30 kilometre detour. Down here, across there, and then up there. This is one of the coolest things we've done. Feel that one. Is that hot, cold? Feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's freezing. Okay, up we go to the other side. We haven't done anything this one for weeks. Our gun up there ready. Waiting for you. Waiting for me. So we came from over there. I think we made it to the other side. Someone's made a seat for you to sit on. The view's insane. Probably shouldn't be doing this in my flappers. Hiking boots probably would have been better. Anyway, it's flipping awesome. You did it, Eddie! <laughs> How cool is that? Amazing. So after we finally found Powers Lookout, it is so worth the trip. The first lookout is very easy accessible from the car park, but the second one is down and up about six flights of stairs through boulders and rocky outcrops, and it is just amazing. Got to do that one. Hobble Dam. We just went over the nicest little creek and I completely missed it. So many grapes. You could come out here and do wineries and be plastered for a month and still not see them all. That's where we were up there about an hour ago. Right on top of that point. Very beautiful. Great looking picnic area down there. It's got barbecues, picnic tables and an enclosed area. So it is 3.08 in the afternoon and we are finally going to Paradise Falls. 
It's taken us all day. We have just hit the Alpine National Park. What are you waiting for? You waiting for me? I can't believe you'd be waiting for me. Come on, Mel. Paradise Falls, here we go. Oh, maybe that's the picnic area I was looking for. Two fire pits and two picnic tables. Paradise Falls walk is 200 metre, 20 minute, leisurely return, includes steps flows to Stony Creek or the Little Falls walk is 20 minutes return short steep sections entrance to the walk is signposted on the left as you drive back from here can't believe we're in the Alpine National Park that's exciting on its own off we go 20 minute leisurely walk with steps let's see how leisurely this turns out to be gonna be a climb back I'm telling you they lied they ain't no leisurely come might be leisurely getting there but it's not gonna be leisurely coming back <sighs> very beautiful out there all the same I turned around and you're gone we well, are cutting under boulders again this is gonna be cool No leisurely about that, I'm telling you. Steep. Oh, rock face. All covered in moss. It's pretty good. And we are just starting to hear water. Thank goodness my greatest fear was we'd get down here and it wasn't flowing. Okay, because it was 500 metres downhill and we've got a lot of steps to go home, we have decided not to go round the back of the waterfalls because actually the car, Ed said, is up there. we are going to climb back up there now. So to get to the back of the waterfall, we have to climb up that track and then go down there. So we're just not going to do it. It's only just running to. Anyway, back to the car we go. I'm going to turn this off so you don't have to listen to me whinging. Can you eat those little berries? There's dozens of them here. They've got spikes on them. We're not quite sure what they are, but we're not going to eat them. There is some serious spikes on them. Anyway, continuing to the car. Not very leisurely. Lucky it's not my birthday because I wouldn't be able to blow out my candles. There's no wind left. <laughs> it's a climb. But we're doing it. Hang on, Eddie. So we just finished the walk to Plantation Falls. It says on the sign that it is a leisurely 500 metre, 20 minute return walk. This is what you need to know. It is all steps downhill for 500 metres and then it's pretty much steps all the way back up for 500 metres. Anyhow, we did it and that's all you can ask for really. See, I've got me a good man. He's just got my new bottle of cold water out of the fridge and my blueberries. Gotta love him. So it's actually Australia Day and we are going to head up to Yarrawonga this afternoon 
to the Australia Day Festival, but on our way we are going to go via about four different lots of silos and up through the Ovens National Park. Here we go, it's gonna be a good day. Here we are going into the Warby Ovens National Park. Windy road for 1.6 kilometers. However, we're very experienced at windy roads now since Tasmania. First stop, Brian's Lookout. Let's have a little look and see what this is. Now we are in Garoombat, a little tin pot town, and we're going to look at the silo art. You know when you think someone's just looking at you? The country has a good sense of humour. Ah, oh, how cute. It's got Clydesdales on it. After a little tad of lunch, we are now at Devonish to see the next lot of silo art. So these are the Devonish silos. There's three. Good day to be here. It's all an Australia day. And this is Polly. I oh know, this is Sally. Sally was an explosive detection dog. Next lot of silo art is at St. James. How awesome is this old pub? Check out the bricks. The last lot of silos are at Tungamar. And then we are off to the Australia Day Festival. So we are at the Thungama Weir. Looks like it might be a camping grounds. He said, I am not allowed on that jumping castle. He is no fun. There must have been something really good at the bottom of this lake. How cute are these swans? We used the on-site dump point, moving day, all packed up. I'm pretty sure it's only like one o'clock. So that's it for Oxley. We are off to a campgrounds near Bacapanya. Always wanted to go to that town. <laughs> and we're off. So that's us for this week. We are heading to AH Young Campgrounds. Stay happy. Be kind, love your life, and we'll see you next Sunday at 6am. See ya!